We need the wisdom of the local communities. We need the knowledge of the investors. We need the engagement of companies. It is with all this wisdom, with all this knowledge, that we can improve the standard and have the best product possible. The review has considered the technical aspects, but now is a moment in which it's going to have public consultation and we are keen that it's as broad as possible to hear as many views so that these can be embedded into the conclusions. This is an issue that concerns not just companies. This is a grave concern to a lot of other organisations, to communities that live near or sometimes below tailings facilities, to governments and regulators that, are, that have responsibility in this area. We want to hear much more voices and much more views to finally shape the standard. And it's therefore of paramount importance that we can reach out to as many experts, as many communities as possible through the public consultation process. It's important to take a multi-stakeholder approach for two reasons. First of all, we want the end product to be as robust as possible and as credible as possible. And if, if multiple stakeholders are involved in that process, then that's much more likely. Secondly, we want this product, this uh, standard, to be taken up as broadly and as quickly as possible. So if everyone is at the table in designing the standard, the chances of broad and fast take up are much higher. Anyone can participate in the public consultation. It's a deliberately open, accessible consultation. We've translated the questions and the process and we've also ensured that it's accessible. There will be regional events as well as an online way in which you can contribute. It's key is that we reach as many people that have an interest and a stake in ensuring that tailing stamp disasters don't continue to happen. Please engage in this consultation. It is important to make the standard better.